Here we go with how to make colloidal gold. When you make colloidal anything for internal use, you start out with pure water. And a regular old coffee maker. It's plain pure water. We're going to get this started while we go on with the demonstration. The other thing, the next thing you need is two gold strips. I like to use the ribbons. The ribbons are much better. They give off ions off the edges much, much better. I use 22 karat gold. The purists say you need 24 karat gold, but you don't really. The only difference between 22 and 24 karat gold is the 22 karat gold has a little silver in it. So you get a little colloidal silver in your colloidal gold which is really good if you look at the studies they'll tell you the colloidal gold and colloidal silver go real well together. The other thing you'll need is some salt. Uh, I use sea salt. It doesn't really matter what kind of salt you need. Just any kind of a salt. And what you do is you pre-dissolve a nice big pinch of sea salt and you make a saline solution out of it. Just stir it a little bit, just so that it's pre-dissolved, makes it easier. The other thing you need is some Caro light corn syrup. You don't have to be Caro, just light corn syrup. The other thing you need is some sodium citrate. Sodium citrate. It's very inexpensive, it's very easy to get, and it's very, very safe. And again, you pre-dissolve some of it, a two finger pinch, I mean a three finger, that was a two finger pinch of salt, a three finger pinch of sodium citrate. The idea is just to get it going ahead of time, makes it easy. Stir it up while we making the hot water. It's important that you put them in, in this order. When you put them in, you put the sea salt, I mean, you put the sea lion solution, two drops, two drops of k I mean, of light corn syrup, and then you put in your, your sodium citrate. Now, the thing is we don't have right here is a colloidal gold generator, right? Well, you know all the scams you see on the internet and all. All you need for colloidal gold generator, look, here's an old power cord. This is an old power cord I got out my junk pile off of some, who knows what it was on, but I, I save all the junk I can. You just strip off the ends, that's it. Power cord, both ends stripped off. Now you might say, well, I don't have no alligator clips or nothing. You don't really need no alligator clips. You just take the strip. Put it under there like that. See that? And see, I have bent the gold strips. I don't know if you can see that, but I've bent the gold strips to fit over the lip of the coffee maker, of the of the karif, like this. See, fits right over it. Boom, like that. Same thing for the other one. Doesn't take no alligator clips or nothing. Just slip them in there like that. Come on, huh? Just slip them in there like that. Put them both on the the karif like the lip like that. Mm -hmm. This is about the fifth take. I'm not taking this again. I'm tired of making claw of gold today, just trying to show y'all how to do it. It's so freaking easy. This is about the fifth take gal, this is about the fifth batch I've made just for this video. Pretty sick of this. If it don't work this time, folks, you ain't gonna get no video. Okay, it goes over the lip like that. Over the lip of the thing like that. You gotta make sure the elements are not touching inside of there. Okay? Now you don't plug it in to last. And the reason why is that's high voltage household current in there. And if you put it, if you touch it, you're gonna die. You got that? This is high voltage current, household current. You cannot touch it when it's plugged in. Use, use a couple of little clothespins like this just to hold them in position. 
you got to position them in there so that they don't touch they cannot touch and they cannot touch so that's all that is it's if you don't have cologne if you don't have alligator clips or you don't know how to do alligator clips or you got using that as an excuse not to make collateral gold so if you don't really need to you can just tie the the like the wire to the elements put them in there and put a couple clothes pins to hold it so there we go right now we're waiting for that to to fill up okay we're gonna take a little break here okay so here we are we're back the pot is about full right there so we're ready to start making colloidal gold out of the hot water first thing we want to do is put in the saline solution and let it ride a little bit so that the heat you know so that it mixes up a little bit in there like that then it's time to plug it in now I remind you this uses household current it's deadly there's no room for messing up. You cannot touch those, and you cannot have those two touch in there. So we put this colloidal, the colloidal uh, I mean, we put the, uh, the saline solution in there, and if you look, you'll see when it starts making copious bubbles, it'll be like fizzing. It doesn't make smoke like colloidal silver does. They fizz. That way you know they're working. You know the saline solution's in there. The next thing you put in is two drops of light corn syrup. And the way I like to do it is just with a let two drops fall off the end of it. You wait a minute for that to work in there, the chemical reaction to take place and for that to dissolve. And then you have your sodium citrate solution you ready to put it in there you put it in there and again you can't touch anything you have high voltage here so you put it in like that and there you have it it'll start making colloidal gold in just a minute I'm gonna put it on stop action now so that you can watch it being made okay so there you have it, a pot of colloidal gold. I'm going to unplug it and deconstruct this for you, go over it once again. Colloidal gold generator is just an old power cord if you do, it, that you strip the ends off of. If you don't have an alligator clip, you just wrap it around there where you put it over the lip. Let's see if you can see this. Can you see that right there? That goes over the lip of the, the kerif, see? And we just wrap the wire around it and hold it with clothespins. So there's your, there's your expensive colloidal gold generator right there. Now don't forget, on all colloidals, colloids, when you, when you first take them out, you want to clean your elements. Before you put them in, you want to clean them too, because if they sit on a shelf very long, but you use a 3M pad, to clean them while they're fresh so that the stuff doesn't harden. I don't know if you can see that one. Can you see that one? How, how uh, oxidized it is. You do that so next time they'll be ready you just do them and hit them with the thing. And to reiterate, <clears throat> pure water, get it hot, put the elements on, pre-dissolve a pinch of salt in a little container make a saline solution pre-dissolved a two-fingered pinch of sodium citrate sodium citrate and you use k syrup I mean uh, light corn syrup get it hot get your elements on it plug it in dump in your salt first when you see it start fizzing put in two drops two drops I use a I use a chopstick put in there two drops of light corn syrup you wait a minute let it stir up in there good and you, you use your you put in your sodium citrate which is a double two finger pinch of sodium citrate and you let it fizz until you see it like that don't forget this is household current 
you can't touch it once you got it hooked up there. You can't have the elements touching the inside. And other than that, I guess that's about it. Oh, I did forget one thing. I wanted to show you what it looks like up close. It's very, very pretty. See that? The darker it is, the stronger it is. This is not like colloidal silver. It won't give you Algeria or anything like that. So there's not any problem with it like that. I made it a little light because I was in a hurry for the video. It's a little light for me. I like it like a nice dark, almost a blood red, you know? Okay, that's about it now. Bye.